Hello all my Hello Maniacs out there, welcome back to the channel, it's so great to see you again. Now, I gotta, I gotta tell y'all something really cool that happened. So Fun.com reached out to me again. If y'all remember Fun.com, I did an unboxing video. They gave me a gift card and said get whatever you want and share with your followers what you get. So they came to do that again, but this time they were like, hey, you know, we know this is really tough right now with everything going on with the quarantines and all that jazz, so we wanted to say, you can go pick out whatever you want to have fun at home with. So I was like, that was really sweet of them. So I wanted to give a big thank you to fun.com for sponsoring this video by uh, sending this giant box of fun stuff that I can do at home. I'm probably gonna have to put this on the ground. <clears throat> Just cause it's a lot. If you guys wanna help support the channel and also get some of this fun stuff for yourself, head on down to the description and you can go to a link for fun.com. Tell them that I sent you and get yourself something really cool to help you through this quarantine time. All right, enough talking. Let's open the box. First thing, ooh, I'm surprised. This is what I get to open first. So if y'all remember from my last fun.com video, I got these lovely Mario house shoes and I have been wearing them a lot they're very nice. So I figured I would complete the set. It's a Mario house robe. With a hood! To make it look like a Mario hat! <laughs> Thought that would be fun to complete the Mario look, especially because I've been really getting into video games lately, so... I wanted to get some video game stuff this time around. It even has his name on the back. Mario! <laughs> Alright, next up, kind of going with the trend, I got myself some lounge pants to wear around the house, and it is the Hogwarts sealed Pants, you know, just lovely maroon pants. You guys got myself some lounge pants of Harry Potter, you know, as I'm sitting around the house and I don't want to wear normal clothes. And then you can never have enough blankets around your house when you're at home and you can't leave, so I got a Mickey thrower blanket. <laughs> it's really cool. It's a woven tapestry throw, which looks like this. So it's like the new, uh, new version of Mickey Mouse, the Paul Reddish version. But look at this, y'all. You can't even see me! <laughs> I have no idea how to put up a throw right on my couch, so that's what I have for now. And what's something else you do a lot when you're home? You read! Let's be honest, we don't read as much as we should. But this one I will read, it's Harry Potter, the Creature Vault. So by far one of my, uh, one of the coolest things to me from the Harry Potter world is the creatures. But I'm also very much like an animal creature kind of guy. I think that's just really cool. So this is like a whole like explanation of all the creatures in uh, the Harry Potter world. I wonder, yeah, they even have like werewolves in here talking about Remus Lupin and his condition and ooh. Oh look, they put like a little ad in here for owls. That's pretty cute. And I don't see a lot from like Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. But this may have been made before that. But this is still really cool. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> so I, I also got this uh, Mimikyu uh, Pokemon with a Pokeball. Uh, for no other reason than I needed the Pokeball for a video. <laughs> But it's still cool. I've really been getting into Pokemon lately, y'all. I really have been, so expect expect some more Pokemon stuff coming up on the channel. Because I'm not going to lie, I re fell in love with Pokemon from Pokemon Sword and Shield. When I totally completed my Pokedex for Pokemon Sword, and I got Shield just so I could finish it off. Yeah, I'm that guy. So I found these lounge shorts and said, yep, that's happening. And when I show you, you will totally understand why. <laughs> I'm gonna lounge around the house with Sleepy. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I might film a couple videos just wearing these where you can't see, you can't see what I'm wearing down here. I could be wearing like sweatpants right now and you'd have no idea. But I'm totally wearing shorts. <laughs> I'm totally wearing normal shorts that I'd wear outside, so it's not a big deal. Hallelujah. Ah! This was actually something the first time around with fun.com I wanted to get but there was other stuff I wanted to get more, so it didn't make it. So this time I'm like, first time, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, yep, that's happening this time. The Incredible Hulk! It's kind of hard to see in the box. Let me get him out for you. Yeah, one of my, one of the things I've been doing during quarantine is I have been, like, uh, doing some spring cleaning and reorganizing stuff, especially around my studio, which y'all see right now. I have an Iron Man mask, and I have a Thanos gauntlet, uh, and I have, like, a... Guardians of the Galaxy figurine set, but I'm like, I don't have anything for my favorite. 
so now we have it <laughs> look at that ah I love it I love it he's oh he's gonna go up somewhere in my studio I don't know where yet but mm, oh, smash. now another thing that I have been doing a lot during this quarantine is me and my roommates we have been playing board games and we've been playing them something awful so now we have a new one we do not have clue at all in this house so when I saw this one I'm like clue and Scooby-Doo? Right, right, that, Raggy. <laughs> I'm excited to play this. And I'm sure my roommates will be excited too. We, we've been playing Villainous, which is an amazing game, but we play it like all the time. So we're like, but let's do something else now. <laughs> so as you guys remember in the last fun.com video, I got one of those like Snuggies. It's like the blanket with the arms kind of thing. I'm sure there's a more generic name for it and not like the copyrighted Snuggies name, but I don't know what that is. So we're gonna go with Snuggies. And it's Hufflepuff, y'all. <laughs> Look, I am in my Hufflepuff robes. I am ready to go to Hogwarts and rep my Hufflepuffs. All y'all Ravenclaws and Slytherins and Gryffindors, y'all think y'all the coolest and y'all keep saying we're the worst. But hey, we're by the kitchen. We have more food. We have more fun. So take that. Yeah, this was something really cool that I saw as well. So as I stated earlier, I'm actually really into video games right now and one of the game series I have fallen in love with is The Legend of Zelda. Got a Master Sword in the stone. I think this is from Ocarina of Time. Yeah, it's like the sword in the Temple of Time. Now it doesn't actually come out, but it doesn't need to because it is a light. So I'm gonna put this down real quick because I can actually plug it into my couch. <laughs> my couch has got plugs to like charge things in, and this uh, to light the light it actually plugs in through a USB. I'm gonna do that, and now uh, there must be a button to make the light come on. I don't know what I'm doing. Hang on. Oh, if I put batteries in this thing, why do I gotta charge? Plug it in. Okay, so now it's got batteries in it. Now how do I? Turn it on. Oh, there we go. Okay, I found the button. It's at the top of the Triforce. Now, before y'all say anything, I did not buy this for me. It's a ball pit. <laughs> no, I bought this for my nieces. They are quarantined as well, and I know that they really fell in love with ball pits right before all this quarantine happened, and now they can't go. So I thought I'd get them a ball pit. So now they can have it in their house. So I'm gonna get this over to their parents. Now this one, ooh, this one was really cool. I saw this, and it's a mug that apparently um, whenever it is cold, it's just a black mug. But now, watch what happens when I pour some hot water into it. Okay, so I went and got some hot water. I think y'all can see the steam coming off this. If y'all can't, I definitely can. And now we are going to pour it into the black mug. And I don't know, oh, ah, I'm making a mess, and that's hot, ah! So yeah, that's what it looks like after uh, you get hot water in it. And they have more than just, uh, more than just Fantasia. They had a ton of uh, Thomas Kincaid's other paint Disney paintings that you can do that with. But that's really cool, so when it gets cold, it'll be black, and then whenever it's hot, it'll reveal this beautiful painting. All right, we got a couple more figurines for the studio because I saw them and said, yes, that's happening. Oh no, I dropped it! No, it's sturdy, it's good. So we have a nice little Mickey Beyond imagination figurine, so he's like in his book with uh, the water coming around and the broomsticks from Fantasia. If y'all saw my tier list, y'all know how much I love Fantasia now. So I was just like, yeah, the Fantasia mug and now the Fantasia this. I think Fantasia, or I guess Mickey is the theme of this box as opposed to last time where it was Toy Stories. So yeah, I just saw a lot of Mickey stuff that I loved. And then this one, I had no idea that people made figurines for this. This property does not get enough love. I mean, it gets love, but in ways that it doesn't deserve, because it's not good enough. Look at this, y'all. 
Dr. Seuss, Horton Hears a Who. I was like, oh, people are giving love to Dr. Seuss stuff. And like in a really good way. Not with really weird remakes. <laughs> now normally I'm not a Jim Shore guy. Jim Shore is the guy who designed this one. He has like a whole line and he does a ton with Disney. I'm normally not a fan because I don't like the patterns on the characters like this, at least on Disney characters, but for Dr. Seuss, I felt like it really fit. So I was like, that's actually really cool. Horton now has a place in my studio. And last, but certainly not least in the box. Even though we cannot entertain right now, and no one is coming to the house really anytime soon, there's this nice little cheese board that's Ratatouille inspired. It has a nice little Ratatouille design on it. Like the 2D designs of like the concept art and the end credits. Very cute, so you like spin it out. And you've got all of these little uh, cheese knives and like serving things. So we're gonna have some nice parties here at the house with me and my roommate. So we'll, we'll get like some fun cheeses and like we're gonna, we're gonna have like a little house party, just us. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys wanna see what fun.com has to offer, go to the link below, let them know I sent you. It does help support the channel and that'd be super awesome. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.